Hey everybody, this is that German guy Josh Runquist, and I'm here with Ben from the Dillinger Escape Plan, who's going to be doing a headlining set here tonight at First Avenue in Minneapolis. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm sir? doing great. Uh, it's going to be my second time seeing you guys. Uh, when did you uh, see so us? Uh, the last time was uh, during uh, Summer Slaughter last year oh, at, okay. the, at the Caboose, awesome. which was a killer show, and I yeah, can't wait to see you guys here. Yeah, yeah, that was a great time. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so how's this tour been so far? Really good. Um, it's our third time around the U.S. on this record, so to see people come out and even know like the songs off the new record even more than they did in the past, and uh, still excited to see us um, this far into the record cycle is really awesome. So I've been very happy. Uh, very cool, and I'm one of them too. I mean, yeah. I absolutely love the last album. It's uh, killer stuff. <laughs> Testing that out there. Testing Thank it you. out there. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Uh, I guess that kind of answers uh, the next question I was going to have. Uh, how is the songs from uh, the last album holding up compared to the rest of the catalog? Like, how is it holding up, like, live? Yeah. Or, uh, I think this this record was the first time that immediately the songs felt good live. Like, when we started playing the new songs off of this record, the first time we played them, it felt like we had been playing them for years. Sometimes you got to get used to it. or falling. So I don't know if that means that we just wrote these songs with more of the live thing in mind, or if, I don't know what it is, but they definitely felt really good live immediately, so that was great. Yeah, it definitely sounds that way live, too. I mean, it, it, yeah, it definitely sounds like perfection. So how did this tour come about with uh, Retox, Trash Talk, and Shining? Uh, it was just, we were, you know, coming out to do our headline run. We got to pick the bands that we wanted to tour with, and uh, some of these bands we've been friends with for a long time, some of them are bands that uh, we've heard good things about. Um, you know, we've known these retox guys for a while and played with them for a while. Um, trash Talk guys are friends of ours, and, you know, Greg, our singer, lives right next door to those guys. And oh, nice. see them all the time, and, and, you know, and The Shining was like a really interesting band that we thought, um, you know, would be cool to introduce them kind of to the States and some of the people who weren't aware of them because they're from Norway. So, uh, yeah, we just made a package of stuff that we thought was interesting. Oh, very cool. So has there been uh, any good uh, tour stories so far? Um, good tour stories. Well, like, I there's, like, we have this new merch guy. And, uh, you know, you bring guys on the road, you don't know them. You know, you have to live on a bus with them. So you take a chance sometimes. You know, we've been touring as long as us. We try to get people that we can feel comfortable with. Um... And so I only knew him like two days, and like I woke up, and he asked me to take a walk. And uh, we walked around, and I was like, this is a nice guy, you know. And then he sat me down, and he said, you know, I, I had a gay dream about you last night. <laughs> and uh, and then he said, wait, no, I didn't. Yes, I did. I'm gay. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Maybe I am. And uh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. And then... Uh, you know what? He said, you know what? It's only... I, I saw a Jackie Chan movie before I went to bed, so that must be it. That's what it was. <laughs> like, you know, if you ate something spicy before you went to bed and you had a bad dream. And, um... So, yeah. So, I mean, that was an interesting, uh... That was an interesting thing. But we've only gone on tour for a few days now, so... That's about as, as interesting as it gets. Since then, he's been trying to have sex with every girl he meets to prove to everyone he's not gay. <laughs> I say... Whatever works, you know. Yeah. Whatever floats you your boat, you know. Exactly. You know, ever since I got married, all the guys want me. You put a ring on, you can't. You gotta shoo them away like flies. Well, that's true. It's like any time that you announce that you're in a relationship or you get married or something like that, yeah. then everyone starts to come out exactly. wanting you. Exactly. Everybody wants what they can't have. By the way, that's him right there. <laughs> Just in case. You want to say something for the for the people? Well, it's Jackie Chan movies, man. I should give your num <laughs> phone number out for anyone who's interested. I'm heterosexual, but if I was gay, he would definitely be first in line. <laughs> Next to Eric Estrada. No one can compete with Eric no. Estrada. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, so, what are you guys currently listening to on this tour? Ah, uh, what are we listening to? Everybody kind of listens to their own thing. Um, I haven't listened to anything in a long time, actually. I've been musicless. I think, uh, you know, you're in this, I'm listening to these bands, you know, Retox, okay. and Trash Talk, and Shine, every night. So it's been, we've been just like listening to that all night, and then we go to bed and read a book and keep it quiet. Yeah. Well, it does make sense. Yeah. I mean, when 
I mean, when you're doing shows like that, sometimes it is yeah. good just to put music on. Yeah, the by the end of the night, after a long night of hearing music and being in clubs every day, you um, you kind of cherish the quiet. That's very true. But that's what I love about this tour is like it is a very diverse tour that's going on. Yeah. I mean, Shining sounds like nothing like Dillinger. It sounds nothing like Retox or yeah. Trash Talk. It's so cool. Yeah, I feel like every band has clearly their own thing, but there's this tie that binds, and uh, that's what I love about the tour. It really represents what I think music is about, should be about, and tours should be about. Oh, very cool. Uh, so, uh, you were saying this is your third run in the States for the for the album. Is there any new riffs that you guys have been working on yet, or are you guys waiting uh, to Well, we the actually tour? just wrote a new song on the in-between tours. We wrote a new song, just recorded it ourselves, and mm-hmm. we put it out on a 7-inch, which is only available on this tour. Oh, nice. So, uh, you know, it's cool that kids are coming out and able to get something special, and and uh, we put a video up uh, of some of the live footage already that uh, <clears throat> Mitch, our videographer here, who's done our music videos, um, also edited uh, some clips of the earlier shows of this tour already, and we just put that online with the new song so kids can kind of hear it if they haven't been able to come to the shows. Or, and so that's been fun to just throw something new out there that's not even on a record. Oh, just yeah. Playing, you know. Very cool. Uh, so, where do you guys' plans after this tour? Uh, we have just like a few weeks off, and then we're going to Europe for European festivals. We're playing Download Fest and uh, a bunch of other festivals. So, that's always interesting because you're mixed with bands you normally would never associate with. So, it's interesting to be a fly on the wall backstage and see like Aerosmith walk by or something. You know? <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Uh, so, I guess that brings up a good question. What's it like uh, going from like a show here at First Avenue to doing those European festivals? Um, I think we like the diversity of doing all, playing in all different kinds of scenarios. I mean, we even recently, uh, before the store, did a secret show in like a little 50 capacity practice room where we just invited a bunch of people to come check us out. And that was cool. I mean, no stage, just smushed in a room together. And then we'll play a giant festival, we'll play a club, we're, we just like, you know, we'll play anywhere that will have us, really. But uh, it's a little different, but over the years, playing bigger things, we've gotten pretty good at playing bigger stages. When we first started, we weren't used to it. We were used to being in small, intimate environments, and I think we've gotten used to adjusting our show to that. So. Oh, very nice. So, do you guys have any uh, plans for any stage antics on the First Avenue stage tonight? Um, well, Unicorn, uh, we have a unicorn in the back. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Um, polishing its horn up, getting it ready to make an appearance. <laughs> Other antics involve um, balloon animals. Greg's going to be doing balloon animals before and after the show. Very nice. Um, first come, first serve. Hmm. Um, does he take requests? He does. Everything ends up being like a snake or a worm or an eel because he doesn't really know how to do it. <laughs> he's just, he does this for like 10 That's minutes nice. and then goes, snake. <laughs> then he does this for 10 minutes he's like, penis. He's like, heel, sword, you know? He doesn't really, you know, whatever. I'm not judging you, you know? No, if it works, why not? Yeah. <laughs> oh, very cool. Uh, so, uh, just to wrap things up here, uh, is there anything else that you'd like to bring up that I've not brought up yet? Oh, well, what can I say that I haven't said already? Um, just, well, thank you for your interest. And then agreeing me, I appreciate that. Oh, not a problem. When I was a little child, I never thought anyone would want to talk to me. Uh, so that's very cool that uh, you have interest in what we do. So oh, I absolutely. appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I've been a fan since Irony is a Dead Scene, and cool. I've been following you guys ever since. And I'm, it's great to see you guys here again, and I can't Thank wait you. to see you guys play. Thanks, man. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I definitely will. Oh, once again, this has been Ben from the Dillinger Escape Plan. This is that German guy, Josh Ronquist. Thank you. <laughs>